Well, hey everyone, thanks so much for joining me for today's Daily Touchpoint. My name is Scott, and we're gonna jump right into Isaiah 43. Encourage you to read the chapter along with us in our daily reading plan as well. Well, David Bosch, who's a missiologist, once said, mission is not primarily an activity of the church, but an attribute of God. God is a missional God. And we see this all throughout Genesis to Revelation, all throughout the Bible, is this theme that God's on mission. It's a part of who he is. We see his, his heart for the nations, his pursuit of the nations through his people. We see this right here in Isaiah 43, and we'll start here at verse 10. God through Isaiah says, You are my witnesses, declares the Lord, and my servant whom I have chosen, that you may know and believe me and understand that I am he. Before me no God was formed, nor shall there be any after me. I, I am the Lord, and besides me there is no Savior. I declared and saved and proclaimed when there was no strange God among you. And you are my witnesses, declares the Lord, and I am God. So these are powerful statements by God, and he's calling his people this word witnesses. You know, the people of God are always to be God's representatives, God's ambassadors to the world so the world can know who God is through his people. It's such a great and high honor that God would choose broken people like us to shine his light through us so that people in the nations can know who he is. And we see this in the New Testament as well. We see Jesus after he rose from the dead. He goes and he teaches his disciples and commissions them in Acts 1.8. He says, But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea, Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. And we have that same commission as the people of God. All throughout human history, we've seen the people of God carry along the mission of God, living in to who God is. God's a missional God, and as his people, we're to be a missionary people. And so what does that look like for us today? Well, first, I want to encourage us, have the mindset that we are his ambassador, that we are his representative, anywhere we go today. You know, God calls us his witnesses. How can you be a witness today about the love of Christ in your life? And that can be with your words, but that can also be with your actions and how you choose to let what God is doing in your life today overflow out to other people. It could be a tangible way that you serve someone today. It could be a word of encouragement you give someone today. And it could just be sharing an opportunity, praying for an opportunity to share your testimony or the good news with someone today. But I think it's so important to be open you know, there's a lot of times in life we can get so busy in our routines, in our, in our work days, that we can miss out on the purpose that God has for us in our work, in our neighborhoods, wherever he's placed us. So today, let's have that mindset to believe that we are his witnesses. It doesn't matter what we've done. If you are a follower of Jesus Christ, you have a testimony to share about the grace of God in your life. And so let's pray. Father, thank you for the great honor that you would call us your witnesses. You say right here, Lord, that you alone are God. You're the only hope, Lord, for this world. And so we pray, Lord, that you would give us an opportunity today to be your witness. That you open up our eyes, that you open up our ears, open up our hearts, Lord, to those around us. And we pray, Lord, just for an opportunity to share your love in a tangible way, to be a witness of your love today in a tangible way. In Jesus' name, amen.